Welcome to Yukanik. Today here in Yukanik, we have a 2020 Buick Enclave. This Buick Enclave has the 3.6 liter V6 motor in it, and we have an engine code that is on. And we are going to. We have used a OBD2 scanner to read what that engine code is, so we know what the engine code is. And we're going to find and locate the uh, sensor and/or unit that needs to be replaced, and go over the process to be able to replace that unit, to be able to the fix on the vehicle. So, as we've scanned the vehicle with our OBD2 scanner, we have this code right here is the one that we are looking at. Um, we are in the, uh, with the scanner, we are in the engine control module of the unit, and that is where we have our issue here. So we have the P0443-00, which is the evaporative emissions evap purge solenoid valve, right? So this uh, valve, it feeds some back pressure to the fuel tank, which is necessary in your vehicle if the valve goes bad or the valve could not be bad also it could just be that there's a big leak it's a one-way valve and so if it goes bad it will be that the air is flowing both directions when it's not supposed to or there is also the other reason is that that hose or the vacuum line has a leak in it and it will cause um, your fuel mileage to not be as good as it used to be and also it can cause your vehicle to not start after opening up the fuel cap and, and putting fuel in it. It might take your vehicle longer to start. Those are the most common symptoms with that, with an EGR valve, the EVAP perch solenoid when they go, go bad. So to start with, you would take off the uh, cover here to get some access here, which was that one 13 millimeter bolt that bolts in right there. And then, not 13, a 30, a T30 bolt that bolts in right here and remove your oil cap to be able to pull off your um, decorative cover. Uh, you don't need to remove the full air box, but it will, it can help a little bit, give you some more space. We will remove this portion of the air intake as well as this unit, just to get it out of a place because the, the, the solenoid that we're looking for is back through here. Not going to undo the throttle body. If you did, it would give you a little bit more access unless you have the new gasket to go between your throttle body. I wouldn't be removing that unless you want to do that. Let's get some, uh, we just need to get this clamp from this vacuum line, squeeze it and bring it back, and then we can pull this off. Need an eight millimeter to get that clamp on that. And then we need to have a 10 millimeter over here. So we undid that 10 millimeter over here. To be able to pull this air intake system off. There we go. And now we get some better access to the unit that we need to get back here. So we have one electric connector that goes into it. We have a little white clip that needs to be pressed back. And then you should be able to squeeze it together and unclip it. It's not I like to use a little pick tool sometimes to go from the other side and that way you'll just um, grab the tab and be able to pull it up and they'll come off easier. You're supposed to be able to squeeze and unlock but sometimes that's easier said than actually done. So then we have a uh, clip that's on this, uh, this big black line that you need to press upward and then be able to pull on the line to get that to come off. If you feel you need to, you can undo it on the other side um, over there. But we got that to come off undone. And now we have a 10 millimeter bolt that's on the bottom here that we need to remove. And then we can pull that um, EVAP solenoid out. Sorry, a lot of this is done by Phil. because of the location that it is in. Okay, we have the bolt uh, removed. And now you can just pull on the valve to get it to come out. You can apply some pressure to this side and if the air goes through and comes out, 
then you know the diaphragm that's inside here has gone bad. Or and if you put air on this side and it goes through, then it would still be good. But if it goes backwards this way, then you know the diaphragm's gone bad. Now, if this tests out good, you would want to be looking at that uh, black line there so that you don't have any cracks in it or that your connections are, are good. And you may need to trace the line back to the vapor canister and whatnot into the fuel tank itself. But if you come to the diagnosis that it is just this valve system itself, you'll just replace it. So take your new one and just be able to slide it back in there, install it in there, and then press it in, and now be able to start the number 10 millimeter bolt, hold it into place. Okay, we've got that in and snug, it's all tightened up. Now, you'll want to take your uh, that line, just press it over, and you should just be able to press it straight on, and the clip will open up as it goes over that little collar, we'll hold it into place, make sure that it is locked in, and then we will press this electrical connector in, press this white tab back to make its uh, double secure lock. There we go. And after that, then you would just go through the process of putting on your um, this top portion of your air intake system and then be able to run your vehicle, drive it like you normally do and make sure that that was, happens to be the only problem you know, with your uh, solenoid there. Of course you also would uh, clear the uh, code out of the ECU with your engine code reader. Thanks for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.